Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Jim Grimes. Liz has the night off. Well, the state says no more shots for tourists with the limited supplies of the vaccine. The state says moving forward, it will only vaccinate permanent or seasonal residents. People have been coming from all over to get inoculated. Meantime, Palm Beach County leaders well, meeting to address some of the distribution challenges. Our Stephanie Valderrama has more on that. And Stephanie, I understand the county so far has inoculated 100,000 people. That's right, but still a long ways to go, Jim. As of today, Palm Beach County has actually surpassed past Broward County and vaccinations, according to Dr. Alina Alonso. Far from enough, but nonetheless an important milestone that Dr. Alonso shared, considering the county was among the last to receive vaccines. In order to vaccinate the community, Palm Beach County leaders are trying to build trust in the vaccine, especially among minority groups in the area. The goal of this town hall meeting leaders held on Thursday along with top medical experts. Meetings like this are critical so that the community can ask all the questions that they want to ask about the vaccine. Those of us who have relationships in the community need to basically put our street cred out there to say that this vaccine is safe and people should get it. 105,575 Palm Beach County residents have been vaccinated. 75% of those are over the age of 65 um, and only 3% are um, black and about 4% Hispanic. Still, that's far from where county leaders had hoped they would be today, considering the county has more than 400,000 seniors over 65 who are a top priority for vaccines. The issue, lack of supply. Dr. Alina Alonzo says the county's first shipment included 20,000 doses of the vaccine, and since it's been cut. The second shipment only totaling 4,000 doses, and the most recent shipment was only 2,900. So you can imagine that with that little bit of uh, vaccine, it's very diff difficult to try to reach all the people that we're reaching. The reason, according to Alonzo, is the governor allocating vaccines to public pharmacies and churches for distribution, which does expand access, but because supply is limited, ends up meaning there's less vaccines to go around. Every time that one of those groups gets that amount of vaccine, it takes away from the rest of the people being able to get it. So, um... That has been the frustrating part. Locally, Palm Beach County Health Department is only making vaccine appointments for those on the county's waiting list. They are not taking any other new appointments at this time. In the studio, Stephanie Valderrama, CBS 12 News.